Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Conquest Football Session. We're on day three, week 13 of our session, but we're on day 66 of the Conquest Football and Fitness Routine. As ever, I'm going to give everyone three minutes to set up, put your fluid to the side, find somewhere you're happy to do your football workout in, invite your friends in, but most importantly, do your individual stretches anywhere that's particularly tight, something you need to stretch out. Now is your time to do it. Then we're going to start our group stretches in three minutes' time. So three minutes, guys. See who the early ones are in. Caspar, Zed, Lima, Troy, Joe and Zach, welcome to the live. How is everyone this morning? How are you all boys and girls? RZ, are you joining in today? Are you going to be involved today, RZ? Casper, good answer. Good, looking forward to the football. Love it. Good man, good man, good man, good man. Good man, RZ, love that. Everyone on Facebook as well, welcome. Welcome, everyone. We're going to have 90 seconds left of our individual stretches. I found it well hard waking up and I went to bed earlier than usual. Yeah, you will, as your muscles are tired, you will, Troy. Broden, welcome to live. Just over a minute left of our individual stretches. Markel, welcome. Friend back tonight, he is indeed. We are back. We are back. Okay guys, so in our group stretch is starting from the bottom. So he's gonna hold each stretch for 10 seconds. 12 is particularly tight in a certain area or needs an extra hold. Slowly working your way up the body. <coughs> Slowly but surely. Mikel, we trust. Mark, are you trying to give me that chat that you fancy Arsenal to get a W? Is that is that genuine? Two minutes of your group stretches left. Make sure you're nice and stretched out, boys and girls. 
My God, I want you to own that statement. So tell me now. No, as if we're going to lose tonight. Okay. So, he didn't say lose. So, is it a draw or a win, Markel? I want you to own, own your statements, yeah? <coughs> You're saying an Arsenal win or a draw? Adam Green, welcome. I'm beating this cut in the end prem. Last minute, last minute. Three points against City. These are big shouts. Oh, big, big shouts. RZ, uh, could Chelsea be title contenders next season? I think they can have a lot more of a fighting chance next season, put it that way. Interesting to see how, how much, how many changes they, uh, they make and then how much of a difference that's going to make in terms of an impact. I, I do think Werner's going to be a good sign. I think Werner could be a good sign for Chelsea. Fighting chance. Yeah, there's a fight. Get a drink on board, boys and girls. Then get aboard your feet. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Michael, if I was talking about Arsenal, I would say they have no chance. That, that's why I chose my, my words carefully. Arsenal, I wouldn't even have it in consideration. Although, like I said at the beginning, I do think <coughs> Mikel Arteta is a very, very, very good <coughs> pick for manager. Yeah. I cut out there, Marks, but I'm just saying I think Mikel Arteta is a very good pick for a manager. I think, like, mid, medium to long term, I think he could do well there at Arsenal. If he def if he gets the players he wants, like if he gets two or three more defenders uh, and probably another midfielder, I think that, um, yeah, Mikel Arteta would be a very, like, he's going to be a good fit for Arsenal. No, one more after that, Troy. I think it's one more after that. Okay, are we ready, boys and girls? Ten seconds before we get this blood pumping. Two-minute warm-up. Get ready. Last chance to get your drinks on board. Go. Samir's got a two by three to three and a half meter rectangle. All you need is one by one meter square. It could be indoors or outdoors. Samir's going to be using his right and left foot, using the inside, outside. Soles his feet, tips his toes and even his laces. Moving that ball and taking as many touch he can. Making sure he's not going back and forth. Taking a lot of directional change and explosive movements. He's going to be starting to work for two minutes. And the beginning of the two minutes will be at 60% of his maximum until we get up to that all important 100% which is what we should be training at all times to get the most out of training sessions and make sure we've got the most transferable skills over. Samir's now got 1 minute 15 left, so he's going to up it to 75%. As ever, boys and girls, we're trying to take between 1,000 and 1,200 touches on each foot every single day. That's a total of 2,000, 2,400 uh, touches at a bare minimum every single football session. And we're currently doing our football sessions Monday to Friday, 8.30am to 9.30am. Samir's now got 45 seconds left. So he's up to 100%. What you see through your screen now and what you're delivering yourselves at home should be what I was to see if I were to watch you on the side of the pitch. 100%, the highest attendance you're able to give, making sure we've got that blood pumping around the body so you're ready to start. Not making sure we're just using our stronger foot. You do need to use both feet, it's very important. Got 20 seconds left. 
We always resort back to our stronger foot. We do need to try and discipline ourselves to make sure we're doing both. The last 10 seconds, get that ball moving. And time. Drinks right there. Final drinks before we start our workout routine. Cardi Pegger, and welcome to live. Mark saying, yeah, if we win and if we win. Is it the first game, even if they think so? I, I thought it was one more. Oh, I thought they needed a point from the next game. Could be right. I know it, it, it's all but done, it's just in name. Vivek, welcome to the live. Could be right. I, I thought it was one <coughs> more point, but you could well be right. <coughs> 10 seconds. Okay, boys and girls, we are now going back to our generalised feed for the week that we have been for the last two days as well. We had a very good two weeks prior to last week where we were doing individual days, so doing different generalised feed for each day rather than each week. Now with the lockdown slowly being eased across the world, we are trying to make sure we go back to our group sessions as well. But it's very, very, very important that we make sure we do generalised themes, okay? Very important, generalised themes. So, this week we are doing body movements. Last week we did ball manipulation and technical excellence and next week we're doing ball control. So trying to get a lot of the different aspects that could come into uh, well, could come into play when uh, football resumes and we go back to normal matches. Now, the last two weeks we tried to advance our drills on so they're very progressive and they're now the most transferable we possibly can so we go, yes, this, this drill is very realistic. I can definitely move this over to a real life game situation and most importantly I can see how this will benefit me in my position in the pit. So to start with, as ever, we're going to start very, very simple. We're going to be using both sides of our feet but making sure we're doing good body movements. So Samir is going to put the ball out in front of him two to three steps depending on how much space he's got. We're going to start on our right foot, two to three steps in front of him. Samir is going to try and dress the ball, okay? And all he's trying to do is take between three and five. And like I said, guys, it is space con contingent. So if you've got a lot of space, you're fortunate enough to have that, you can obviously go up to five. If you're indoors, you only want that one by one mid square. You're going to look at a maximum of three touches. So it's going to be three to five messy touches. And then it's going to be the same, but with drag backs, okay? So you're going to add a bit of ball manipulation, but it's going to be how we dress the ball. And how I want us to work on this body movement is I want us to start at varying angles, okay? but we're still doing the same instructions. So I might stand to the side, so I've then got to readjust my body, small messy ass touches, and then drag back back to the start position. Then start on the opposing side. Bear in mind we're doing right foot first, so then we'll go across our body, readjust our body. Might be directly in front, might be a bit closer. Try and change your starting position so there's different angles, different ways you approach the ball, okay? Three to five messy ass touches, and then it's gonna be drag back to the same. So Samir will show the beginners, and obviously through the screen he'll show you. So it's a bit slower. Three messages, touches, and then drag backs. Just working that ball back to start position, holding it still. Then he's going to change the position and adjust the ball formally. Good. So he's going to have body movements. He's going to go in. So there's perfect, guys. That's not what we're trying to do there. Good, Luke C. Because what are we trying to work on? We're trying to work on body movements, messy as touches. This isn't a messy as touch, okay? And that is what I know all of you are going to be doing. We need to readdress the ball and our body movement to be in front of the ball, so it's going to be an angle run, round, and then touchable, 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 messy as movements, okay? So we're trying to work on the body movement as well. Are we ready? Just right foot. Just right foot to start with 40 seconds. Change your angles you approach the ball at. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, well done. Those small messy as movements. Approach the ball, good. Well done.
Good. Very good. <coughs> Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Five seconds kick out. Get ready to go to our left foot. Different approach now. Put the ball further forward if you need to. Different approach to the ball. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Well done. Good start. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. First set complete, 40 seconds rest. Well done, boys and girls. Let me catch up there. Mark, scenes from me. What happened, Marks? What happened? What happened? Everyone on Facebook as well, let me know how we're finding it, boys and girls. Let me know how we're finding it. Second set, 10 seconds, get ready. Like this one, yeah, decent, good, good, good. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Five seconds kick out. Get ready to go to our left foot. Make sure you change your angles as you approach the ball out, boys and girls, okay? Don't just do the same way. Different angles, different positions. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, Two, one, let's go.
Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. All done, second, second bleak. Get ready to start our third and final set. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, left foot. Right foot, sorry. <laughs> to me, it's so two footed. I was talking his left and right, and his right is left. How does that make you feel? It's true, is it? True sentence. Huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Rest there. Five seconds kick out. Get ready to go to our left foot. Okay, left foot, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten seconds. Finish off strongly. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Drink break there, boys and girls. Very well done. Very well done. Does everyone find it after that exercise? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, similar adaptations to what we were doing yesterday. But this time it's going to be inside the radius circle around us. So we're in full control of the ball. So we're going to have the ball on the outside of our shoulder blade. So in a 180 degree line the outside of our right shoulder blade, so I have it just at the edge of where we've got full control. And by full control, I mean that any minute to touch, we've still got control of the, uh, the ball. Forward, back, towards us, whatever it is, okay? So try to go to the furthest extent where you feel like the reach of your circle, there's about the maximum I can reach out, okay? 
All I want us to do to start with, I'm not going to give any constraints, and I always I do this for the first set, so we still work on our own creativity, is I want us to end with the ball top left. So a touch and then a holding touch, so it's going to kill the ball dead, top left, okay? I'm not going to tell you how we get there. I want you guys to show your creativity, but bearing in mind we're working on body movements, okay? I want the ball to end top left with our left foot stationary on the ball, okay? So the ball must start on the outside of right. We'll start on our right foot, then we'll move on to the left. If I get from this 180 grand across our body line, finish top left. So just in front of our left shoulder blade at the top reach of where we can go with our left foot. Everyone understand? Start of our right foot and then we can go to our left. Biraz, welcome to life, in line with yourself. Biraz, welcome to life. Are we ready, boys and girls? Foot on the ball, keep your foot on the ball. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Hi, right, guys. Work on that movement on the outside of your body line, across your body. It's me who's going across your body. You might just be doing something different. Whatever it is, let me know. Your variations, no constraints at all, just that the ball must end up top left. That is all I'm asking for right foot. And I know your left foot, obviously, the ball must end up top right. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, one. Rest there. Five seconds. Get out. Get ready. Go to our left side. Get ready. Okay, left foot. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Really, true. We, we normally get it on this side. There is a... I need a couple of balls. We didn't get anything at all. Is it all right now? <clears throat> 25 seconds. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, 40 second rest. We will extend this one out. Get about two minutes plus our 40 second rest. Don't worry, we have lots of time to get everything done. But we do need to go through and discuss this. Tell me, boys and girls, what we <coughs> did what we completed for your version of what you thought the best way to get with the body movement, that ball from the right hand side up to top left. Let me know what do you think your version of the events is the best way forward. Let me know what you did. Did you do things differently to what Samir done on camera? Do you think that was the most efficient way? Now look and see what he did. Or do you think what you did was the uh, most efficient way using the body movement to get that ball top left? So let's discuss it. Still got time to get your drinks on board, don't worry. Have a break here. Give everyone time to type it out and then we will discuss it. It's important we get it right. We do need to be able to discuss a few things. You do know, boys and girls, I do like to stop it every so often so we do get a chance to go through everything. This is our ideal time now. So put your comments in there. Give everyone a couple of minutes just so I can read them out. We'll get a discussion, get to a consensus of what we think. And like I said, 
there is creativity on your side so it will be down to you guys you interpret as you see fit I did what Samir did. Okay, fair enough, Dre. Fair enough. Everyone else, boys, let me know, boys and girls. Get those comments in there. Let's see what Paul and Markel have got to say. Full backs. Other full backs in here. Let's see what they've got to say. Zach. Rock the newsy outside of my opposite foot oh like that so drop shoulder of your right so drop right shoulder outside your left foot put it up there jeff a welcome to life like that one zach 90 seconds everyone get your comments in now i want to see what everyone's interpretation of it is let's see here we go because it's a body move and I went towards the ball first, great space to get out from right to left. Yeah, like that. Key emphasis of that body movement, creating space for yourself. Uh, Joe, I done a mix of body feints and <coughs> rolled it to the other side. Also done Cruyff behind and up. Okay, HR Ben, welcome to live. Okay, okay, okay. Last minute, boys and girls, last minute. Last minute, get those comments in there. Ball roll into step over, diagonally up, or body faint on one-two shimmy. Yeah, like that. One-two shimmy is key for this. This was screaming one-two shimmy, wasn't it? Screaming. Markel. Then ready with a shoulder drop or tied to a uh, little in and out touches. Good. Good. Last 30 seconds. Get those comments in there. Get those comments in there. Those watching it back on YouTube, tell me when, you've, when we've got a break here, what you think. Put it in the comments box. If not, just have a little mental note of what you see, what everyone else is saying. I've read all the comments out as well. Maybe a little write down what you think as well and what you did, how you can change it. So if some of the things I've said out loud you could change in, here's if you can do it. The key thing I would say, guys, because we've got all of the right answers in there mixed up between everyone, so I'm happy that we're trying to get to the right stage right now. The key thing for me, boys and girls, the key thing is, yes, it's a body movement, but you want to get to that top left or top right in the most efficient way possible. So something like what Samir was doing, Troy did the same, and someone was doing like a one or three touch. Uh, if we're going more than three touches from there to there, there's probably something wrong. We're probably taking too many touches. Uh, in the same breath, okay, I do think that when that ball's in like a closed situation, there's very limited things we can do because of where I've made the ball stipulate. We have to make some sort of body movement. So I probably at some stage want to shift my body weight over to the right so I'm able to power out top left, okay? I just feel like we're very isolated and controlled in what we can do. If the ball's here, a lot of, because I'm balancing mainly on my left foot now, a lot of the control is going to want to naturally pull me towards the right because that's the only way I can generate my power going that way, okay? I'm going to get very limited power going that way when I'm already leaning on that side, okay? So at some point, I'd want to shift. Even if it's one in two or one in three attempts, I'd want to shift my weight to create the space out there. Obviously, the controlling of where to go is never going to happen in a match because in a match, no defender's ever going to say, right, have the ball there and you've got to beat me there. However, we're trying to replicate a real life situation. The defender's showing us one way, so it's there and we've got the ball outside. Realistically, we want the ball to get on that side in many ways, so we have to change position. That's why we're trying to make it realistic, okay? So the defender's saying, I'm showing to me the outside. He's got the ball there for me. The best way for him to beat the defender is obviously down the line if we can. If not, we want to get hit, so he's got a turn, okay? He's at an ultra position. So good answers, very well done. Let's hear Markels and then we'll start. My comments ain't loading on Inter, but it was similar to Casper's point of creating space first, then using a shimmy. Let's see this one. Then using a shimmy to get out of situation. Okay, fair enough, Marks. Um, Damari Moore, welcome. Baylor, welcome to live. Okay, guys, I think we're ready for our second set. Let's use a mix up of all the things we've discussed. See how we can implement it now. Are we ready? <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Second set. Here we go. Make sure it's 100%, boys and girls.
20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. seconds. Finish strongly, boys and girls, finish strongly. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Five seconds if you are going to go to our left foot. Well done. <coughs> well done, everyone, well done. Okay, left foot, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds left. Keep going, boys and girls. Keep going. Keep going. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. Second set complete. Well done. 40 second rest. Put those comments in there, boys and girls. Did you notice the difference? Did you add anything <coughs> else in? Did you take what someone else said they were doing and put it into your own routine? Did you just stay the same? Let me know. It's good to see any changes, if any, were made. Put those comments <coughs> in there. A107, welcome to the live, welcome. I did a one two shimmy, yep. Fair dues, fair dues, fair dues. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Getting ready for our third and final set this exercise. 15 seconds. Jeffa, when is this done? Uh, what do you mean, Jeffa? As in this this drill in a real life game, or when is this session done? We're, we're live now, so 8.30 to 9.30. Football and 9.45, 10.45 for your fitness, or you can watch it back on YouTube. Let me know though, Jeff, what you mean. Happy to try answer. I think the most effective for me with this one was a diagonal touch with the same foot, drag back and diagonal with the opposite foot. Yeah, understood. Okay, third and final set, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. The whole session, yeah. Uh, so we start at 8.30 every morning, Jeff. It's a free session, you can just jump in. 8.30am to 9.30am, Monday to Friday. And then your fitness is straight after it. 9.45am to 10.45am, Monday to Friday. But if you've missed it, you can watch back all of the free episodes on Congress Academy's YouTube page. Just go on Congress Academy on YouTube. You'll see all the sessions on there. A lot of people watching back now to our YouTube, I told you. 
You didn't believe me. A lot of people watch you back on YouTube. 15 seconds left. Well done. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Rest there for five seconds. Kick it out. Get ready to go to our left foot. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Second left. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest there. Well done. Drink break, boys and girls. Drink break. Drink break. more thank you if you're good okay so me's gonna pick the ball up beginners or advanced you're gonna have it in your hand this time do not worry <coughs> so normally we're doing a control touch so me will throw the ball in front of him now we're doing body movements so me's gonna try and keep that throw as close to his body line as possible okay so you're gonna drop it down he's got to take a bounce and then he can address the ball okay so my only constraints are it must be as close as it possibly can to body line it must take a bounce, then we address the ball. We are allowed to take two touches, okay? One positive one in front of us, and then one any manipulation we want. So it's two touches in front of us. It's not right and left, so you can alternate. Right, left, right, left, right, left, as you see fit, okay? Very, very important. You can do whatever you want with the ball. Those of you that want to test yourselves, Can do a possible push. You can do a forceful push down. So it's me doing an advance, then a forceful push it down, then take his positive touch, and then a manipulative touch of some kind. Everyone understand he's gonna so me is gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left. You can alternate as you see fit. Very important though, we're not doing right and then left, we're doing them both together, okay? Jeff, why did you change your times? 10 seconds started. We changed time, Jeff, because lockdown's being lifted. So we are going back to our group of one-to-one sessions. So to make sure that everybody still gets the benefits of this for the time being, we have made it early. So everyone has still got their entire day in front of them. So we've done both our put one fitness and it'll only be 10.45 a.m. Lots of people haven't even got out of bed by the time we finish both our workouts. So ideal for everyone involved so you can still do everything. First set, here we go. Five, <coughs> four, three, Two, one, let's go. Remember, it's a body movement. It's a body movement, remember. Good, well done. One positive touch, then any manipulative touch that you see. Remember to alternate. This isn't going right and then left. You need to change between them yourselves. 20 seconds left.
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest there, 40 seconds rest, getting ready to go to our second set. <coughs> Twenty seconds, getting ready for our second set. You need to take a breather, hands on the back of your head, open up your lungs, <coughs> in through your nose, out through your mouth, suck it up. Ten seconds. Second set incoming. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. One, let's go. Twenty seconds. Last ten. Seconds at the end, there. Make sure you get the bit. 40 seconds rest. Well done. Last, last set. Then it's our challenge. Which you know, we're doing the same challenge every day this week. Really working on the movements. <coughs> 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Get ready for the final set. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five seconds left. Finish strong, boys and girls. Finish strong. Fifteen seconds. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one, <coughs> and rest there. Drinks break. Then we're in for our challenge, boys and girls, get ready. I'll explain the challenge now to everyone so you know exactly what it is you're doing. Once you've got your rest, you're straight in. Doing exactly the same every day, so those of you who are new or those of you watching back, you can see. We're going to have the ball directly in front of us. We're going to take fast feet around the ball, then take a positive <coughs> touch forward, bring it back, other direction round, other foot positive touch, bring it back. So we'll give you a demonstration. So your dress is the ball, fast feet round, positive touch, bring it back, then other side. Positive touch your other foot, bring it back, okay? It's going to be going for two minutes, okay? Two minutes. We're going to be starting in 20 seconds. Get ready. <coughs> 15 seconds. Get ready. 10 seconds. <coughs> Five. 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Fast feet all the way around. Don't shoot yourselves. Get all the way around. Don't step over the ball as well. Make sure you go around it, boys and girls. Twenty seconds gone. Get that ball stared. Good, 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 good. Well done. Coming up to halfway. Keep working hard, boys and girls. Keep working hard. Just gone halfway. Keep going, working those feet, working those feet. Get that ball stationary. Good, work those feet. Fast feet. Don't jump round it, Samir. Fast feet. Good. Coming up to 30 seconds. Good. 25 seconds. You're nearly there, boys and girls. Come on. Final straight. Get in. 20 seconds. I'll count you in from 10. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest there. Drinks break, boys and girls, well done. Drinks break. So we'll be straight back in. Get your drinks on you, then we'll get our stretches completed. We're going to start from bottom, hold each stretch for 10 seconds, slowly working your way up the body. 12, you're particularly tight in the certain area, you need to get an extra hold. Please make sure, boys and girls, you do your stretches. Please make sure. Follow Samir's prompts, he'll show you. Slowly working your way up the body, make sure you do it. Okay, boys and girls, as ever, we do appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Please remember that the fitness session is starting at 9.45, so we've got about 15, nearly 20 minutes before we start. This video will be up on YouTube 10 to 15 minutes after it's finished now. If you want to share out your friends, get it out there. We do appreciate it. Please share this out to your friends and girls because we will slowly be working towards lockdown being lifted completely and going back to our one-to-ones and group sessions. We look forward to seeing you shortly for the fitness. If not, I will see you tomorrow morning at 8.30am for your football session.